Hi guys, I'm bringing you a different kind of video today, a lifestyle video which would be very helpful to you guys, I would imagine, uh, especially when you can't be as active as you, we used to be before the whole COVID lockdown. Many of us aren't probably half as active as we were before. I, I do try to work out from home and everything but you also have to eat healthier now. So I wanted to share with you guys my uh, super healthy green smoothie. Remember guys, this is not your typical, I wanna run to Smoothie King and get something sweet, uh, you know, a smoothie like that tastes like a milkshake kind of smoothie. This is actually an ultra super healthy uh, super food green smoothie that keeps you very healthy. You will see in the video that I included some optional items and powders that you can add to the smoothie to add uh, health benefits to your smoothie. Mainly I wanted to share with you guys the the base smoothie you know and then you can of course add those optional items to it if you want so let's get started i'll show you how it's done okay remember guys this is a healthy smoothie recipe this is not the your typical you know i want to have something sweet you know like a nice kind of uh, milky type smoothie recipe this is a healthy ultra healthy smoothie um, this is something that is packed full of um, antioxidants uh, with lots of greens uh, and gut healthy um, enzymes like kombucha so this is a, a super healthy smoothie just keep that in mind but it tastes really good so we're going to start with a cup of spinach so this is my Vitamix and this actually it has um, measurements on the side so this is one cup right here so I'm gonna start with a cup of spinach I mean, I don't usually measure, but just for the sake of this video, um, I'm gonna do that. I know usually I, I know how to eyeball what's, what I need for my family. So that's about a cup right there. And then we're gonna add about another cup of kale. This is curly kale. You can get any type of kale, but make sure the more important thing to remember is that when you're drinking something, when you're consuming something, not just drinking, eating something raw, it's always better to get organic versions of things. Like this is organic spinach, this is organic kale, all of this is organic. Um, so that's something important to remember. And if you can't get organic, it's, it's, it's fine. You can, you know, go for non-organic, but at least try to get the greens organic. And I've just been lucky that even during this COVID pandemic, I have been able to get a hold of these items in my local Whole Food store. Um, we place online orders sometimes. Sometimes when you really have to be going to the store, just one of us, you know, taking proper precautions, of course. So that's organic spinach, organic kale. So it's important too. I think I, I've, in my experience, I think that uh, blending the greens first with your liquid uh, is better you know, before adding the other stuff. So I'm, I'm, I don't usually measure, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna measure. This is a cup of kombucha. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more. You wanna see like it come up to about halfway point there. So I, I would say maybe two cups right there. So the next thing uh, to add is the uh, organic apple cider vinegar with the mother. Remember again, it's important that it's organic. I would add about uh, two to three tablespoons of this. This is really important for your gut health. It has enzymes that help digest food. Um, and it's, I've heard it's really good for weight loss as well. Then I'm going to squeeze a whole lemon. So I'm gonna squeeze a whole lemon in here. This is a neat little lemon squeezer I got from, um, I think on Macy's. This is I think the Martha Stewart brand. I actually think a Vitamix is super helpful in uh, making smoothies like trust me you guys we've had so many different types of blenders we've had KitchenAid we've had Ninja 
We've, we got so many blenders and nothing works as well as a Vitamix to blend smoothies. I mean, I know it's very expensive, so if you can invest in it, get a Vitamix, but any blender would work. Uh, it's just so, this, this makes it so much easier. It's got great settings that it just blends it in no time to a, a very fine uh, smoothie. So I'm gonna put it on the smoothie setting and I'm gonna blend it. Okay, now I'm gonna add a very important ingredient. This is organic banana. Banana has this peel, so it's not as important for bananas to be organic as, let's say, uh, the greens or the, if you put berries. Those things, it's important that you get organic, but bananas, it's great if you can find organic. If not, you can just get regular bananas, that's fine. So I'm gonna put a whole banana in there. So the next important thing I like to add to my smoothies is raw turmeric. This is organic turmeric. I get it from Whole Foods. I'm sure you can get it from any organic uh, food store. This, I mean, Google it. It's got super healing powers, um, amazing, amazing qualities. It's an anti-inflammatory, uh, among many, many other things. Um, I don't remember the long list of uh, uh, benefits of this ingredient, but I always make sure I add some of this to my smoothie. So the other important ingredient that I like to add to my student smoothies, I think this is a critical one. I think this is very important to add. Not just because of the uh, special qualities and nutritional value of ginger and health benefits, but especially because the taste it gives to your smoothies, um, it, it actually uh, makes your green smoothies very like palatable when you put ginger in it. Some of the health benefits of ginger, obviously, you know, we all know it's an anti-nausea, you know, when you feel nauseated, you can, you know, have ginger, it, it takes away that feeling. Uh, it's good for digestive health and it's an anti-inflammatory. I'm not sure if it's been scientifically proven, but uh, there's a claim that it also helps with like, and it has like anti-tumor, anti-cancer properties. Um, and then there, it is also like great for cardiovascular health. So the list goes on. There's a lot of, just like the turmeric, you know, a raw turmeric, ginger has a lot of health benefits. So I'm, I usually put about this much of a nub into um, my smoothie. The other thing I like to add are some frozen fruits, um, organic versions of course, but you also can ha use the, um, you know, like the non-frozen versions of them as well. But Frozen is good because it stays in your freezer forever. You can keep it and you know use it whenever you need for smoothies, which is nice. Um, and also because they're frozen, it helps the smoothie stay cold. So um, I like to use a few chunks of uh, mango. I don't want to put too much of mango because it's not the most, uh, I mean it's healthy, but it has some sugar in it. I mean, if you want to make this smoothie super, super, super healthy, leave the mango out. Um, I would leave the mango out, but I like to add it just to make it taste a little better. And then I also like to use organic pineapple chunks. Um, again, if you want this to be super healthy, leave the pineapples and the mangoes out because they have a little bit more sugar than the other ingredients I'm using. Those are the only two ingredients with sugar in them that I'm adding. Um, banana does, but very, very, very little. So the next thing I like to add is some ice. Um, it, you know, it depends on your personal preference. Do you want a lot of ice? Do you want a little ice? How, how much ever you want. I add like, about that much. And then um, this is basically the, your base for your smoothie. And there are some optional powders that I'm going to add to increase health benefits and the nutritional value of this smoothie. But this is your base smoothie right here. Um, you, to add to that, you can add things like collagen peptides, um, you know, ashwagandha, uh, you can add uh, chia seeds, uh, hemp seeds, things like that. So I do add those items, but they're optional. This is base, your base smoothie. And this right here in itself is very, very, very healthy. I mean, those powders are just an additional value to your nutritional value here. In this Vitamix I have, uh, there is a smoothie setting and I just hit start and that kind of 
blends it to the right consistency of a smoothie it's already pre-programmed so that's why I love this thing by the way this is not sponsored by Vitamix at all Vitamix doesn't even know who I am I, I just love this thing just stopped automatically um, so it's done now to the right consistency so this is this thing came with the the machine um, so it's something that you can use to like stir it which I just love that they thought of that okay so these are some of the both bonus items I like to add just to add nutritional value to my smoothie this is again these are optional you don't have to use them but if but if you want to and if you want to make your smoothie super super healthy then you can use these these are some of the uh, items that I like to put in my smoothie they are immune boosting uh, great for your gut health they are chock full of antioxidants um, each one of them have special qualities um, so to start with I like to add organic hemp hearts uh, hemp seeds again you can look this up in on the internet like the health benefits of hemp hearts so hemp hearts apparently may reduce uh, risk of heart disease um, it is also great for uh, as a plant-based protein if you're a vegan or a vegetarian it's a plant plant-based protein it helps with digestion you know there's a whole bunch of ben health benefits to hemp hearts um, and then this is organic ashwagandha root powder this is super uh, important ingredient in Ayurvedic medicine for example there's like a long list of health benefits from ashwagandha it says right on the back of this packet for example that it's ashwagandha is a powerful herb used for thousands of years for its restorative and rejuvenating benefits um, it can help alleviate stress anxiety fatigue low energy insomnia concentration difficulties um, and, and, and I know there's a lot more than that they've only included a few and I heard that it's also something that helps with thyroid issues like it helps you you know with your thyroid issues again don't quote me on this I'm not a medical professional disclaimer not a medical professional but I have heard that that people say people with thyroid thyroid um, um, issues that uh, doctors advise them not to mix ashwagandha with their thi thyroid medication because ashwagandha pretty much does the same thing pretty, almost very close to what the thyroid medication does so that they don't want them mixing it so there must be a reason why doctors say that you know so this is like something really really good but remember though this has a very very strong smell to it and it ta has a very strong taste to it so if you're gonna use ashwagandha, so this is what it looks like. Um, if you're gonna use ashwagandha, only use like half a half a teaspoon or maybe quarter teaspoon. Do not overdo ashwagandha. One, it's very strong, um, and two, it has a strong taste and smell. So just use a very tiny pinch, like a small amount of ashwagandha. All the other things like hemp hearts, you can go to town with it. You can put like even if you want to, if you wanted to make it really thick, you can even put a cup of it, which I don't. I usually put about like a quarter cup of it in my smoothie. And then the other thing I like to use is grass fed collagen peptides. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel good when I put that in. I don't know if it's scientifically proven that when you ingest collagen it helps with your collagen production which has not been proven but it just makes me feel good to still put collagen peptides some people swear by it that they say that it's very helpful with you know collagen keeping your skin well I can't attest to the the health benefits of collagen powder pe peptides this is something I do just because I want to you guys don't have to do that but I will tell you spirulina powder is definitely a superfood I mean it says right there the the if you google spirulina powder you will see the lo the long list is really really long I mean it's it, the list goes on and on and on about the health benefits of spirulina spirulina is pretty much a an algae it's like a sea algae 
Um, do you see how dark green that is? This is chock full of antioxidants and nutrition that is just like an endless list of stuff. Uh, for one, it is uh, number one health benefit apparently is it boosts your immune system and it apparently takes heavy metals out of your body. Um, expel heavy metals uh, and then it has anti-cancer properties apparently and um, uh, anti it's an anti-inflammatory it reduces bad cholesterol converts bad cholesterol to something better apparently the LDLs and then um, it lowers blood pressure it can prove sinus problems it boosts your energy the list goes on and on and on with spirulina so I like to add about a scoop of it like I would say like a tablespoon again this is something that's super potent you don't want to overdo it if you add like two tablespoons your green smoothie would be like green as you know the Hulk so you don't want it to be that uh, strong this is camu camu powder again I'm not gonna go all into it you guys can google it it's another superfood that has a lot of health benefits same with maca powder these are another additional items that I, I like to use and then chia seeds you guys are familiar with chia seeds one of the main things with chia seeds is when you put it in there these are tiny seeds but they expand to like 10 or 15 times of its size and it fills your stomach and you don't get so hungry so it keeps you full and so it's really good for weight loss and it does have a lot of health benefits as well so I, I like to put about like uh, I would say like two three tablespoons I mean it depends on your taste if you want a lot of it in there then do it if, if not just if you don't want too much of that like sort of uh, texture that chia seeds has and you don't like it then you know just put one one tablespoon okay so I'm gonna put some of that in again I'm not gonna give you measurements this is all based on preference so I'm just gonna add what I like to add for my taste this is just again additional items like I said it's not I already did the smoothie for you these are just bonus stuff I add it to my take it put it in my travel cup like this and I drink it all day and it tastes really really good actually yum um, so I hope that was helpful to you guys and uh, I hope you tried this at home make yourself healthy smoothies in the morning and let me know how you like it if it worked out for you please let me know your thoughts and I will see you in my next video